Well, this is my latest engine, the Armstrong hydraulic engine by Anthony Mount. I've just finished it, it's taken me almost a year. <laughs> and I decided to make it at 50% of its original size. Um, so it would have been like this one here, much bigger. It doesn't sound much a drop to 80% but it makes quite a difference. Um, this is an engine that was used to uh, drive machinery with water pressure and I think there was one in Tower Bridge and uh, this is the pump here. It's got directly in line with the con rod from the cylinder and uh, this allows it to take up less room with this forked connecting rod. The um, challenges are making this pump uh, directly in line with the cylinder so that it runs smoothly and um, there's not much room here between the flywheel and the crank and here there's not much room to get in the valve chest if you need to check the timing but um, <coughs> it worked out all right in the end and um, I quite liked making the little stopcocks on the end there and the um, governor and um, no, it runs quite well. It, you do need a lot of accuracy in making it. So maybe I'll get the uh, compressor out and give it a run. <laughs> 